Metal foil has been around for a long time, whether it was tin foil or aluminum foil, which of course nowadays is aluminum foil. We're going to show you a lot of uses on how to use this in a SHTF situation for survival needs or if you just happen to not have a certain item, something you can improvise with. But one of the first things I want to show you is always when you get a roll of aluminum foil to push these tabs in. Once you push those in, it's going to keep your roller in place. And a lot of people just never realize that you can do that. And if you've ever fought a roll of aluminum foil, it really is a pain in the rear end. Here, I can just pull it right out. The roll stays right in place. And even though a signal mirror is best, you can pick up on the shiny side of aluminum foil, it can be a great signaling mirror. Take a stick with a Y in it. Take your length of tin foil or aluminum foil. Place it around the V-shape. You can actually cook something on here. You want to make sure your stick's long enough, which this one is not, but you get the idea. Of course, the old Boy Scout use is to place potatoes, onions, and sausage in here, wrap it up good, or hamburger meat, wrap it up and place it directly on the fire. You can also make a little bowl. And you'll need multiple layers of the aluminum foil. Just bring up the edges. Here I have one of the small Tato gear little aluminum stoves it's alcohol based take my lighter and if I need to I can boil water in a pinch and if the winds blowing I can have a little wind break right here with a piece of tin foil of course you could probably layer this up a little bit more give you a little bit more of a of a resistance but it works very well you can take multiple layers of a tin foil sheet run a sharp stick right through the center form a cup, kind of a spout around the stick, and that's really where the stick comes in. Make you a nice little funnel. You got the hole here, you got your cup here. Okay, then just pour in whatever liquid, water, even if you're putting oil in a vehicle. You want to make sure you seal around the bottom because it can leak where you have seams. And of course, the good old standby, use it as a lid. You can also use this to sharpen scissors. Or you can clean metal objects. So you can see it's dirty takes it right off. This will also clean pans and grills. And it's a great way to conserve water using this instead of washing it. Now even though this isn't as good as one of the little sandwich bags, you can take your dryer lint or any kind of fire tender, wrap it up in the tin foil, stick that in your pack, and at least it's water resistant. It's not going to be waterproof, but it'll definitely keep it dry. It could also make a good light reflector, especially if you're in a tent you can set up your flashlight, it gives it more of a lantern effect. Setting the flashlight to one side, you can actually lay a book here, you can read at night, it gives you a little more ambient light in your tent. Or if the power is just off altogether. And of course this would also be good if you had a small campfire and you wanted to put this on the outside between you and the fire, it would give you a little more of reflective quality. Also if you're cooking something, you could set it right behind it, set this in the fire, it insulates it from wind and other things. If you're going fishing and you have no bait, but you have a hook and some line and a little sinker, fish love shiny objects. Now you have some improvised bait. Man, I've been down here all day and I ain't had one bite. I think these fish are paranoid. They must be preppers. If you have a garden area and birds are eating your seeds, or if deer are getting into the garden, you can take these and put them on a string, let them float, and it'll keep them away. Something about any time the wind and this noise, especially with deer, 
Last year we used regular little plastic bags, but this year we're going to use aluminum foil like this. Just like this blackberry patch behind me. The birds typically get it if we don't get it early enough. Putting these around will keep the birds away. This can also protect your hand when you're carrying a candle because you know how that wax can start to melt and it can burn you up. And of course, obviously, number one, your tinfoil hat. This cat works for the NSA, watch out. Guys, we've been spoiled in buying purposeful items when we have so many things at our fingertips that can serve so many different purposes. And again, every one of these that you realize, whether it's dryer lint, whether it's cotton balls, it's chapstick, it's different ways to make fire, every bit of the knowledge you gain will give you more in your arsenal for survival. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Come down here and cut my grass. Can you cut grass with tinfoil?